Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to blend three images together to make one of these really cool surreal landscape seascapes. You can see here there's me going off into the sea but I'm going into the sky there's a giant wave crashing over my head. So you can see we're blending three different images together over here and there's a fourth image which I'll explain about in a moment. So let's get straight into it. Um, to do this first of all you're going to need the three images lined up on Photoshop on different layers. So you've got the wave image here, I've got me walking out into the sea, I've got two versions of that, and I've got a nice sunrise. So first thing we need to do is mask out some of the wave. To do this, we need to be on the black color here, the paintbrush here, and we click on the layer mask here. And then using the paintbrush, we paint over the image so that we get rid of all the things behind it. If I close the picture to the eyes, you can see that we're blanking it out, so it goes blank. Okay, once we've done that, we need to open the background layer, and you can see how I'm blending the sky with this wave to create this effect. And I'll just blend out a few little bits more here. So carefully clicking the mouse where I want to blend it. A little bit more in there, so you can see the, the sky and the wave almost become the same thing. Okay, that's the background and the foreground. Now I need to get the picture of the person wading out into the sea. And to do this, on this layer, I'm going to select the subject of the picture rather than drawing around it. Photoshop will work out where the area of the picture that I want to keep is. Once it has done that, it will take a few moments. You can see we've got a flashing line here. So I go to, once I've got the flashing line, I click on the mask tool and it will mask out everything but that. So you can see there I am just sort of stuck up in the sky with the wave crashing over. Now to create the more subtle effect, if I go to the middle layer, I can then blend out the pieces of this around. Oh, always make sure you click the mask tool first. So if I blend out the area around here, you can see that it's not affecting the person because that's on a separate layer here. And it's just blending out the background so that it all blurs in really nicely how I want it to be. Okay. And if you've done too much or too little, like I don't like this little bit here, if I switch the brush colors around here, I can then make sure that I mask this bit back in. So you can see it adds white back to the image here so I can get it exactly the bits that I want masked out, like so. And we can make any tweaks to our image brightness, etc., by going up to Image Adjustments, Brightness Contrast, give it some more contrast, give it a little bit darker. Click OK. I can change the hue of the image as well. So on this layer, I want to change the layer of the image. So go to Adjustments and Hue Saturation. I can just change the hue slightly saturate a little bit more make it a little bit more blended in so I could change the colors to suit the image so there you go that's how to blend three images together using layer masks in Photoshop to get these really effective surreal landscapes okay enjoy making your own and if you've enjoyed today's video be sure to pop over and hit that subscribe button and tick the notification bell thank you very much for watching and goodbye